Champions that match, Robert. Two sets to love. Six one, six two. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations on taking out the Burnley International. You um, won here in, or runner-up in 2013, and now you're the champion. What's your feeling after uh, taking out the title? Yeah, it's good. Uh, good surprise for me. You know, I came here. Uh, you know, I was seeded, so I was one of the favourite of the tournament. But yeah, I know here it can be difficult to play sometimes when it's very windy. And uh, I had one match with the wind. It was tough. You know, it was difficult for the concentration. And then after we had like great, great condition to play. So yeah, it's like I feel good to I feel good here. Every time I come to Tasmania, I have good results. So and this year again, so you know, it's always special to win a title. Uh, so for me, it's like uh, it's, it's going to be a, a great souvenir. We just saw uh, one of the rising stars in, in women's tennis, just 15 years of age, take out the ladies' title. You're 37 years of age. You seem to be playing great tennis at the moment. You're really fit. Um, tell us about your journey a little bit now, because you're still so motivated and playing so well. Uh, you're really enjoying the ride at the moment. Yeah, you know, till I'm, I'm competitive, till I feel competitive, I'm going to play. So, you know, I'm not watching uh, my head, you know, I'm not looking, not looking at, uh, on that. And, uh, yeah, my goal now is to come back to the top 100, you know. Uh, even if I actually I have no goal, because it doesn't matter how I play for pleasure, you know, and pleasure brings results sometimes, you know. And, uh, but like, yeah, 16 months ago I was 55 in the world, so mm. I got injured last year, I had a tough, tough year, you know, start to play well uh, only after US Open, so uh, now I'm playing my best tennis again and I'm feeling okay with my body, sometimes some pain, but, but it's okay, so now I'm, I'm confident because I, I see that I'm playing well and I hope I can do some good results, you know, like first on Challenger and hopefully I can do some good results again in the Grand Slam and ATP main circuit, why not? Why not indeed? You must be um, very confident with yourself, not only in your playing ability at the moment, but with your body. You, you mentioned the injuries, but um, you've had some very tough matches here in Burnie this week. A uh, late finish last night, but you showed no signs of any weariness at all today. Yeah, well, I was surprised. You know, yesterday we finished late and the match was really, really difficult. You know, my opponent Nishoka was running everywhere. We had some, some big, big, big rallies and sometimes I couldn't breathe anymore, you know, so I was thinking, come on, you have to finish the point in three or four shots maximum because now I cannot run anymore. <laughs> and uh, I was like very close to cramp. So, uh, but yeah, yesterday after the match, I took my time, I did my stretching half an hour and then after it, it was good. To, today, you know, I, when I woke up, I could feel my body was, was okay. So I was, uh, yeah, I was confident for today. And uh, yeah, I like, I like the atmosphere, you know, the, the surface, I, I like it so much and it fits really to my game and uh, so yeah, for, for me the, today was a, was a perfect day. You now head to Launceston for the Launceston International and then maybe a little bit of a, a break, I think you mentioned in Melbourne as well, so important to continue that good form while, uh, while you're winning? Yeah, of course, you know, after I have to manage my schedule, you know, cannot play like every week, so after two weeks here, I lost in the last round of qualities at the Australian Open, so I had two weeks after to prepare and to relax. So I came here now full of energy. This week I did a perfect job and uh, now I'm going to relax for, for two days and I'm going to be uh, focused on the Manchester tournament. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think uh, I will see, you know, and now it's like something I, I'm going to discover. I don't know my, uh, my limit about this. You know, I was in Japan, I won a tournament the week after I lost in the first round. But it was completely different because the surface was completely different, was very, very fast. Now it's going to be more or less the same conditions. So hopefully, you know, I didn't check my draw yet in, in Launchstone. I'm going to check it in, uh, like in a few minutes to see. You know, sometimes you need luck also because you can play like tough guy first round. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be focused on this. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give my best match after match. If we see a victory again in Launceston, today's victory celebration, we did a magnificent uh, somersault, backward somersault. What can we expect to see in Launceston? Something a bit different? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. But the thing is, you know, I'm going to give my best and uh, as I told you, I go, I go match after match, uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, this, this week some people, they were telling me, ah, yeah, you have a good draw, you have I say, okay, okay, present, keep in the present, me, I'm not focus on the future, you know, and then after, at the end of the tournament, we see who won, I won, okay, so, and next week is going to be the same, you know, match after match, and, uh, well, you're a very popular person here and a very popular champion, congratulations on uh, taking out your first Bernie International. Thank you very much. Thank you.